tutorial to install custom firmware with chicken. Install Sony's official uh, firmware 503. Copy the files to photos. Browse the folder. We go to the exploit picture. The PSP is restart. Ding. So now you'll be able to start homebrew and launch the recovery flasher from Hellcat. So, the so menu will ask you if you agree or not. Go on, I agree. Now take me to the program. Press X. The new menu appears, and you have to choose install custom firmware. Um, I choose do not reset format settings, but it's on you if you do it or not. Yes, keep settings, I have faith. The process goes on. So now checking update uh, PBB. I go to 5.0 and so see. And now you see you write the files into the flash. I think it's more friendly and more easy to use Pandora. But for those people who don't have such a battery, they can do the same thing with only a GIF picture exploited. From I think Wallalo, what's the name? And yeah, thanks to Davy who give us the hand. So buffering. I think this part of the video <laughs> was good to cut, but I don't do it. So so people don't think it's a fake. Press any button to shut down. Do it. No, wait. You think it's a kind of a break, but the PSP is only restarting. Ah, very important is you can do it only with the PSP Slim. 
uh, on the 88B models known as um, PSP you can um, pin use with a Pandora battery so we start the PSP again this won't work with a PSP 3000 model So system information okay. and you see 5.0 m 336 okay greetings from germany and much fun bye bye